So most right-handed people will have a high right dip. I'm going to palpate her sacral base, which is right here. I'm going to ask her to bend forward in a smooth arm. And if you notice my right thumb, it rides up a little bit. It might be hard for you to see that. Come back. And so we know that her sacrum is somehow hung up on the right. But I need to palpate the depth of that sacrum when she's face down in order to determine is it rotated right or left. And you can correct that rotation in one maneuver. So, Sherry, would you be so kind to lie face down? Um, if you want, you don't have to. Whatever you can do. So any of this that is uncomfortable, any of the stretching that's uncomfortable, I'd ask that you tell me immediately. I'm just going to kind of square up on the table here a little bit. I'm going to borrow three stretches from my friend and mentor, James Wozlowski. So I have right, left, QL on the right side. We're going to do three stretches, and that is going to level her hip height up. Let me just put that arm right there, that arm right there. And so we're going to fatigue this muscle for five seconds. I'm going to make sure that I anchor her pelvis to the table so we do not uh, compromise her lumbar vertebra. And I'm going to ask Sherry with 1% of her strength to gently press that knee down. So we're just going to fatigue that for about five seconds. Four, three, two, one, good. Let's take a breath in and out. My goal is just to get this psoas elongated to about 45 degrees. So first psoas isn't really tight here. There's our 45. I'm just going to re-educate that a couple of times. To save time, I'm just going to reach over on the other side of the table. I'm just going to stretch her left psoas and gently press that knee down. So who has the time right now? The time? What time is it? 20 to 10. 10? I'm sorry? 9.41, thank you. Breath in and out. See how long it takes us to get her out of discomfort 100%. And that's a little presumptuous, isn't it? But I think we can do it today. What do you think? Okay, positive. I appreciate that positive feedback today. Okay, so I'm just going to recheck her PSIs here. Just see if that leveled it. It's still a little high on the right. I'm just going to grab this leg right here, and I'm just going to drape over this one. I'm just going to ask you, Sherry, to keep your hip on the table. Just pull it towards your shoulder. Let us fatigue that QL, QL muscle. We could also use the soft tissue twisting to turn that QL muscle off, but I'm just going to do it this way today. Relax. We're focused on the upper trunk. And take a breath in and out. And let this go. I'm just going to give that a little stretch. So that, those three stretches will always correct the PSI. So now our hips are nice and level. I'm going to palpate the depth of her sacral base. What I'm seeing is when I palpate her sacral base, this thumb on the right is deeper. Now if I tell you her sacrum is rotated left, even though it's deeper on the right, does that make sense? Okay, so her, her sacral base is deeper on the right. So let's say this is her right side. This is her left, it's deeper, that's exaggerated, but it's deeper on the right, and I'm telling you her sacrum is rotated to the left. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Good. Because we look at the anterior portion of the vertebral column, whichever way that vertebral column is rotated based on the anterior portion, that's the way that the sacrum is rotated. So it's rotated left. I'm gonna do one maneuver, it's going to rotate that sacrum right. Now, can you tuck your hands behind your ears? <laughs> well, we won't be doing that today. I was just curious. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, I'm going to bend her legs to 90 degrees. Now, this is a pretty unique stretch, but what I'm going to do, Sherry, is you don't need to help even though you want to. I'm going to roll you onto this hip. And if this bothers you at all, please let me know. So, I'm going to grab the outside of her leg here, and I'm going to push up against her right hip. I'm going to ask her to take, sorry? Yeah, we'll just have her arms right there, just to anchor her body. And so I'm going to ask you to take a breath in and out. And as she exhales, I'm going to roll her right onto her hip. I'm going to drag her this way. This, by the way, this is one of my favorite professional wrestling moves right here. <laughs> and it's 
always tough when your client fights back or she doesn't look like she's fighting me too much today. And so now that I've got her in this position, we're going to be able to rotate that sacrum to the right. I have her knees supported with this right hand. I'm taking this hand with both legs and I'm taking up the slack here and I'm going to ask Sherry to lift her legs in a superior direction and push right up into my hands. So very gentle, about 1%. We're going to fatigue that for five seconds. Let's take a breath in and out. And then as she exhales, I'm going to continue to stretch and rotate that sacrum to the right. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Press up. Now I can actually palpate her sacral base right here. And go ahead and take another deep breath. And then I can continue to take up the slack and I can feel that sacral base right there pushes up against my finger. I'll just give that a little bit more of a stretch. She may feel a little stretch on her left gluteal area. And now I'm just going to bring her right back to neutral. Square hips up. And recheck the depth of that sacral base. And so when I check her sacral base right now, it's nice and level, both right and left. Let me ask you, is there, is there tenderness here or here? On the left side? Okay, so I'm just going to use a little soft tissue twisting to turn that tenderness off, or at least try. So I'm going to come right along the, this is in zone one, by the way. And I'm going to take and push that tissue that way. Is that quiet that yes or no? 100%? Not quite. I'm going to pull the tissue from lateral to medial. Is that quiet that? 100%? Okay. So I'm going to hold that. She has a little ligamentous reaction here. And so I'm just going to turn off that tenderness right there. Is that just pressure now? Okay, good. So what I'm going to ask her to do now is, because we're just going to do the rest of this muscle energy technique to make sure her hips are out of rotation, her leg neck is correct. So Sherry, we're asking you to go face up now. Does anyone know where I can get a rotisserie massage table? <laughs> Slide right down here so your feet are right flush with the head. Okay, good. So now I'm just going to take the center of each palm and palpate. Can I palpate your ASIS? No, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to take the center of each palm so I don't have to fish around here in the no-fly zone. I'm going to find your ASIS for the center of each palm. And then I'm going to butt my thumb up against the inferior portion of that ASIS right there and right there. And so she has a classic pattern. We can see her right, right ASIS is lower than her left. left. And so in one maneuver, we're going to put that back where it belongs. So I'm just going to bend this leg. And this is where I wanted to know if she could tuck her ankles behind her ear, but we won't worry about that today. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do, basically I have her into my ribs. I drape that under just to guide. I'm going to hold this leg so it doesn't allow this alien to move. I'm going to ask her to gently press into my ribs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's take a breath in and out. And as she exhales, I'm just going to move forward a little bit using my body. And let's go ahead and press again. So five, four, three, two, one. Good. Breath in and out. And let's give another little stretch for one, two. Let's see if that was enough. And so we're just going to palpate her ASIS again. We'll just see what's left. Now those are nice and symmetrical. So at this point, we're now in a position to check her leg length differential. And as I view this here, it looks like she's, she's pretty level, but just to make sure, we're just going to have her clear her hips. So would you lift your hips off the table for me? Back down. And now when she clears her hips, I don't know if you can view this, JP, but when she cleared her hips, you can look at my, it might be hard for you to see this, but her left leg is short. But we need to gather more evidence. Because when I palpate the inferior portion of her medium malleolus, this one is high. So now let's look at her ilium to gather some more evidence. We can also check the ischial tuberosity to gather more evidence. But this will be enough. So if I palpate the top of her crest here and the top of her crest here, 
we can see that this crest on the left is a little high. So that gives us evidence that her ilium has slipped up on her sacrum. We're not diagnosing, we're assessing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a muscle energy technique to go ahead and correct that. So I'm going to close pack her hip. I'm going to move that leg medial lateral till I find a point of maximum ease, which is right there. I'm going to butt my hip up against her other leg. Sherry, I'd ask you to keep this leg straight, okay? And so what I'm going to do is put a long axis, long axis extension traction on her left leg. And Sherry, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to take in a deep, deep, deep breath. Deep as you can. Good. And exhale. And so while Sherry is breathing in and out, her sacrum is flexing and extending all the while I'm pulling down on her leg. Let's take another deep breath in. Deep, deeper, deeper. Good. And exhale. And I'm just continually applying traction. Another deep breath. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Good. And exhale. Let's do, we'll do this a couple more times. Another deep breath. And exhale. Now this time, Sherry, give me another deep breath. Deep, deep, deep. And on your exhale, give me a little cough. Good. And I give that, I time a little tug with her cough. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recheck her medial malleolus. And what I see is they're exactly symmetrical. So we're going to actually go back in and check her crest height. And if I check her crest height here and here, those are nice and symmetrical as well. So in six maneuvers, we totally balance.